Swimming season is around the corner, but when you hop in a local lake this summer, you might be met with unexpected company. Jellyfish, they're now thriving in St. Louis area freshwater. To explain, Dan Zarlinga with the Missouri Conservation Department joins us. So where specifically are these jellyfish? Well, they can be just about anywhere in the state, including this area. And you'll tend to find them in, in places with still water, like lakes, uh, pools, uh, ponds, maybe even a quarry pond. So anywhere where there's not a lot of water, water movement, that's typically where you'll find them. Like at the Ozarks? Possibly, Table or Rock? Palm de Terre, any of okay. those large reservoirs okay. is possible. You gave us some photos of these specific jellyfish mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. are now here. So as we look at them, mm -hmm. they look a lot like what I think of saltwater creatures. So how are they surviving in our water? Well, yes, a lot of us think of uh, jellyfish as saltwater creatures and they certainly are in a lot of uh, salt water in the world. But uh, these particular jellyfish have adapted to live in fresh water. So obviously we don't have salt water here mm -hmm. in Missouri, so that's where they're living. They've adapted to be able to survive in that condition. So if they've adapted, they've been here for a while. How did they get here? Well, uh, we believe they may have come in with uh, exotic plant trade. You know, they've been in North America, documented for about 100 years in Missouri since the 1930s. So they've been here a little while, and I think they've been able to adapt in that length of time. Can you, you know? kind of use your hand and show me, like, how big are these? jellyfish because it's hard to tell in a picture yeah they're like about a, like doing an okay sign that like they're about quarter, an inch half dollar yeah about an inch or so okay yeah so yeah, very as small. we look at the pictures again and we see the tentacles is that the right term yeah so those are actually tentacles that they, they come out and they do have venom so they are designed to sting and immobilize prey that they eat which is tiny organisms microscopic organisms and i know a lot of people are wondering well can they sting me like we've heard about jellyfish doing elsewhere yeah. so they do have the venom they do have the tentacles but they don't they're very small and they can't really penetrate human skin so they don't really pose any threat or, or harm to people so you don't have to worry unless you're a microscopic organism okay we are not the yes. prey. Okay. no absolutely so what is the conservation department want to do about them? So uh, technically they are not native. They came here from Asia, so they did not originate here in, in Missouri or in the United States, but uh, that makes them non-native, but they're not necessarily invasive in the sense that they're causing a problem, uh, like uh, ecological havoc mm -hmm. or harm to native species. In fact, crayfish, native crayfish eat them a lot, so they're a food source for mm -hmm. them. And so they're not really causing a big problem, like some of our invasive species, like I know you've, you're familiar with feral hogs yeah. and some other things. So those are causing problems and damage to our uh, ecosystem, but these jellyfish really aren't. So we're not really doing anything as long as they don't cause a problem and they're providing food for some native uh, crustaceans, we're okay with them. All right, well, it's fascinating to learn about and the concept alone, talking about jellyfish in Missouri is kind mm -hmm. of unique. Dan Zarlinga, thank you so much for joining us today. Really appreciate your time. Thank you.